So the ECHO trial is a randomized clinical trial that uh, compares the rate of HIV acquisition between three different contraceptive methods. The injectable DMPA, which is a three-monthly progestin injectable, the copper IUD, which is a non-hormonal intrauterine device, and the levonorgestrel implant, which is a progestin implant, but a different sort of progestin to that that we see in DMPA. For 30 years, there have been questions raised about whether some hormonal contraceptives are associated with an increased risk of HIV, and particularly the three-monthly injection. Some studies have suggested it does increase risk, and other studies have not found the same thing. So we needed to design a definitive study. The problem with all the studies and all the evidence we had until we did the ECHO trial was that this was what's called observational data. And that means that there can be all sorts of biases built into those studies that we either don't know about or don't understand or we're not able to control for. The only way to really get the gold standard of a study is to do what's called a randomized trial, which is what we've done with ECHO. From what we can see, there is no increased risk from any of those three methods in terms of increasing your risk for HIV, comparing one method to another. However, none of these methods will protect you against HIV. And so your risk of HIV in the setting that you're living in remains very high and you still need to protect yourself.